Hello and welcome to Abbey Times TV. I'm Marisa Christian. It was 50 years ago today that astronaut John Glenn left the Earth in what would become one of the most historic flights in history. Glenn's capsule, the Friendship 7, soared 162 miles from Cape Canaveral, Florida, into outer space. The astronaut and later senator from Ohio became the first American to orbit the Earth on February 20, 1962, circling the planet three times in five hours. The trip helped the United States solidify their place in the space race and surpass the Soviet Union's accomplishments. Glenn was one of the top military pilots chosen to take part in a series of test flights in 1959. Six other men were also chosen and the men became known as the Mercury Seven. The only other surviving member is Scott Carpenter, who famously called out, Godspeed John Glenn, moments before Friendship Seven propelled Glenn into space. NASA supplied these rare photos from Glenn's original spaceflight and his 1998 return voyage. Glenn is still in awe of his dramatic feat and cannot believe it is already the 50th anniversary. In order to commemorate the day, he and NASA Administrator Charles Bolden spoke at a NASA forum in order to discuss the agency's role for the future and to encourage the advancement of science and technology. Glenn will also participate in a question and answer session with students from Ohio State in the evening with former astronaut Mark Kelly, the husband of former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Ohio State President E. Gordon Gee said in a statement, quote, John Glenn is quite simply an extraordinary American patriot. He is a man of boundless courage, limitless optimism, and unwavering honor. I am deeply grateful for this opportunity to celebrate his tremendous achievements and his important leadership at Ohio State. In 1998, Glenn returned to space one final time to run a series of tests with the Space Shuttle Discovery. He was 77 at the time and became the oldest person to fly into space. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.